Hey everybody and welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Weekly News Update. Lots of things happened in the world of LEGO this week and I just wanted to say before we start that this week or last week's episode marks the three year mark of doing the weekly news if I'm not mistaken, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, but anyways, lots of things happened in the world of LEGO. LEGO has officially announced that there will be Star Wars sets for the 20th anniversary of LEGO and Star Wars uh, being together. So that's happening in April. We don't know what they are yet officially. Um, the LEGO Masters TV show from the UK is now going to have a crossover sister show in America. So that's been really popular the last couple of years. It's coming here, so I'm pretty excited about it because from everything that I hear, it's actually a really, really fun show to watch. I just haven't seen it because it's in the UK. Um, there's also tons of new poly bags coming down the line, lots of little things as well. We're gonna get into everything, but first let's check out the builds that we've added to the web store. So interestingly enough, we didn't have a video come out for this Friday on a new mock-up in our web store, but we have partnered with the excellent designer David Duperon and put up four of his gigantic, amazing builds. That would be the Colonial Viper, Cylon Raider, Colonial Raptor, and the Spinner from Blade Runner. Video reviews for all four of these giant builds will be coming down the pipeline, so uh, keep your eyes and ears open. And absolutely everything is linked in the description below. So that would be our web store at the top and all of the articles that I mention in this episode. So to start us off very quickly, I just want to say that it's absolutely confirmed. There is going to be the Star Wars 20 year anniversary sets coming out for April. Right now, there are some pretty strong or some pretty confident rumors as to what those sets are going to be. I cannot confirm or deny what those rumors may or may not be, but I am looking forward to a few of them if they end up being true. Right. Oh, now that's out of the way here is the first really big story of the week and that is the Lego Masters TV show is going to be coming to America. When it first aired back in 2017 it quickly became an extremely popular show and now the entertainment company Plan B is going to be partnering up to produce the US version. From what I can understand it is a brick building competition show. It's also kind of like a talent show. There's A Falls building, there's kids building and based on what I get from some of the people commenting on these videos we have a few people that have actually participated in the UK version of the show so I'm kind of excited to see how it uh, translates over to American audiences this is no new thing for UK based shows to uh, just kind of rebrand themselves with an American kind of audience and oftentimes they'll become extremely popular so I kind of hope that's the case for the master builders let me know what you guys think about this show coming to the US I've only ever seen little clips of it on YouTube I haven't actually watched a full episode myself before but I'm certainly curious to see how this is going to turn out moving on here is a quick update for those of you that maybe ordered some of the Lego forma sets that was the Kickstarter that had the bendable kind of fishy uh, builds with those interesting sort of vinyl skins that they added to the Technic interior uh, those deliveries are gonna be happening sometime next week and people expect uh, a lot of them a lot of the Forma sets to be delivered by the end of January or early February. So there's going to be some people with some interesting hands-on reviews. I'm curious to see what they're like. Personally, we didn't go out and get any of the Forma sets, but if you guys ordered some, uh, let me know what you think about them when they arrive. Also next week, the Apocalypseburg massive Lego movie 2 set will be officially available for VIP members, and the designers Justin Ramsden and Paul Turcanu will be doing a small global tour. So for the first day the set is on sale if you are in Paris. Both of the designers will be there to sign the set. The 17th uh, in Leicester Square, London. The designers are going to be there and then it looks like they're flying over to Florida uh, at Disney Springs, the downtown Disney Springs store. Uh, the 19th of January the designers will be around to sign the set. So if you're in that area and you want to get a collectible box with special signatures I would highly recommend uh, buying from them at those times. But 
but we're definitely gonna build ours on the very first day. I feel like it was a week or two ago, maybe a month ago, there was just tons of poly bags popping up here and there, a lot of which had to do with the Lego Movie 2 and just the general wave, uh, a winter wave of new sets. Uh, that is the case again. There's a ton of new poly bags showing up. Personally, I think the coolest one here is the little Spider-Man Spider Crawler poly bag, uh, number 30451. It's just got a great design for a little spider. Then there is the Make It Yours set, number 30545. From what I can tell, it looks like you can make a ton of different fish builds based on all the different kinds of slope pieces you get. And I just really appreciate the different types of vibrant colors. I think a lot of those pieces are probably not very common in the colors that you get. Here is a little Santa Creator poly bag, set number 30573. A little bit interesting, I didn't know Santa made his toys. I thought that was the job of the elves. And then the last one is a small play set with uh, some TNT, a creeper, Steve, uh, it's a Minecraft poly bag, which I haven't seen before. And it's got a play function involved, which is kind of nice for such a small little build. This Lego City popcorn cart can be found at Walmart, I think right now. And then uh, we've mentioned Emmett's Peace Offering poly bag before. It can be found at both Target and Walmart as well. Speaking of the Lego Movie 2, it's less than a month until it comes out in theaters. That would be February 8th. They're running tons of ads on it. Here is a poster for the Lego Movie 2 in IMAX. So so this week they've announced that it will be available in IMAX theaters for some location. So if you want to see it in the bigger, more high quality uh, version, you can do that. And now that I have mentioned posters, uh, right now you can go to your Lego store and ask for uh, some Lego Movie 2 posters that they're giving away for free. You don't have to ask for purchase. A lot of them do have that fold in the middle. And as far as I know, they only last until they run out of supplies. I think there's five different ones in total. And according to Alan Tran at the brickfan.com you can if you ask for it get a larger lego movie 2 poster with sweet mayhem this is a bigger size it's rolled up so it doesn't have that fold and it's just a bigger poster so anyways if you wanted to kind of pick up some other little free things at the stores you can show up and hopefully they'll still have supplies if that's what you're interested in and currently the two asia exclusive sets are available right now but once again only in asia right now lego has uh, put the pdf bill building instructions online but as far as I can tell there are lots of pieces that you would still need uh, that only exclusively come out in these sets for them to be totally complete you can get them on the secondary market right now they are pretty darn expensive and personally I'm just holding out hoping that they will just become available in America someday hopefully we'll see also found on an article from Alan Tran at the brickfan.com Target interestingly enough will be doing a Lego movie 2 building event on February 16th roughly a week after the movie comes out. It's going to be from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., which is kind of interesting. I don't remember Target doing these types of events for LEGO promotions. This is something that Toys R Us normally would do, but maybe LEGO has taken the opportunity to move that type of building event onto Target because Toys R Us is no longer a thing. Nobody knows what the mystery build is going to be yet, but if you'd like to find out, I suggest you show up at one of the Targets on the 16th. Now, moving on to LEGO ideas, there are no no new sets that got voted in with 10,000 votes of support. And between last week and this week, the third qualifying period for sets to be submitted for, of course, 2018 has ended with only five to actually be reviewed. The Dinosaur Fossil Skeletons, the Chemical Plant Food Stand Diners, Queen Victoria Cruise Ship, and the Playable Lego Piano. Personally, I think these builds are actually pretty strong. I, I think one of the five is definitely going to get chosen for this uh, particular round but let me know which one you think should be voted through as a final one and also these are the sets that are currently going to be finishing off the review stage and lego will be making an announcement about any of these or one of these or none of these becoming an official lego set relatively soon all right, everybody, that is it for this LEGO Weekly News update. Remember, Sunday, we've got the top 10 mocks. That is Mike's episode. Uh, really fun. We get to basically just show cool LEGO builds that we happen to see people building throughout the week. Always a lot of fun to check out. I think it is our personal favorite kind of video to do. Uh, vlog for Monday or Tuesday. Um, and yeah, same old stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. If you stuck around in this video uh, this long, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we will see you next time at Brick Vault.
Hey everybody, just jumping in, wanted to let you guys know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome, awesome Lego mocks. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that help make these amazing Lego creations, and it's definitely worth checking out if you guys want to take a crack at building some of the more high quality, detail intensive Lego builds. That's www.brickvault.toys. And thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time at Brick Vault.